Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to briefly show all of you the settings that you can use inside of GIMP in order to get set up for doing pixel art. So first off, you're probably going to want to start a new document with a low resolution. So if I go to File New, we're talking something like 32 by 32, 64 by 64, or you could even lower it down to 16 by 16 for a single frame of a very small character. So I'll go ahead and hit OK there. If you hit Control and then middle mouse wheel up, you can zoom in, and this will allow you to see your individual pixels much better. So when you want to draw a pixel inside of GIMP, you're going to want to use the pencil tool specifically with hardness 100 and size of 1. So now when you select a color and you left click, you're going to get a single pixel. There's no extra pixels here which are partially blurred out like you would get with the paintbrush so the pencil is going to be the optimal tool for getting those crisp edges and you can increase the size and still get the same result so if i increase it to six and i left click you're still going to get these hard edges on the pencil tool which is exactly what you're looking for with pixel art and i'm also going to hit undo a couple times so we have this background layer um, in the bottom right hand corner when we draw a pixel art we're going to want to create a new layer so i'm going to hit create new layer in the bottom right hand corner the reason we do this is so that anything we draw doesn't actually affect the background so we can draw on here disable and hide it and we can see it's a completely separate layer from the background which allows us to delete changes without destroying the entire document and you could create multiple layers if you want maybe one layer per part of your character. Now, one more thing you're probably going to want to do is import your own color palettes into GIMP for you to use with Pixar. You can see in this palettes editor, most of the palettes for GIMP have many colors, 256 for old school Pixar. That is probably way too many. If you want to see this palettes panel, go to Windows, Dockable Dialogues, and then palettes down here and you'll open up the same thing so if you jump onto the internet and you go to a site like lowspec.com slash palette dash list you can get access to a bunch of you can get access to a bunch of pixel art color palettes that people have already created so i went ahead and downloaded this discard 2021 color palette you can just click over here download palette and then you want it as a gimp.gpl file so that you can import it right into gimp easily i'll click back into gimp in this color palettes area, I'm going to right click, I'm going to choose import palette. So we want to import this from a palette file. I'm going to click over here. Let's go to the desktop and I'm going to double click on this discord-2021.gpl. Double click it. Uh, we're going to have our colors over here in the palette. So let's go ahead and hit import. I think you can also use the import as image. So if we right click, go to import palette image. So I think that you can also use PNG color palettes and import that into GIMP for the same purposes. So I'm going to go to file and then let's open, go to the desktop. So I'm going to go to file open on my desktop. I'm going to double click journey.axpng. So we can see here all of the colors for this color palette, but we brought it in as an image instead. So if I right click over here, we go to import palette. Let's do image. Then let's choose this journey sorted. So for this one, I think there's 32 colors. So let's change the colors down to 32. And now that's looking more correct. I'll also take the columns and put that at a lower number, like four, so that uh, basically it fills up all of the space in here. And let's try importing that. So we can double click on this journey palette if we want to use it. As you can see, each of the columns individually selectable as a new color, which will be reflected in our foreground color can go back to the color palettes window and we could also choose our discord color palette so here we have the colors that are available as well so in any case uh, we have our color palette over here we can go to the window we want to edit on and then we just need to use the pencil tool so in to get into pencil tool make sure it's one pixel and we can start drawing around here so I'll left click to draw a pixel you can hold shift down if you want to draw a line so let's just do something here Maybe we change to a different color. If we want, we can hit Shift B to do the fill bucket tool. That'll still work just fine here. And to go back to uh, the pencil tool, and we can draw basically whatever we need to here. Now, if you want to erase pixels, instead of hitting Shift E to go to eraser mode and then clicking around like this, 
Uh, you'll see that even with the hardness 100, this leaves a little bit of blurriness there. So I'm going to hit Control E to undo that. Uh, we'll go back to Pencil Edge Tool, and we can just set the opacity to 0%. So now, so instead of doing that, let's go back to Pencil Mode. And what you can do is change Pencil to Erase. And now when you left click on these pixels, it's going to do a one pixel at a time Erase. So uh, that's going to give you the look you're looking for. You never want to have those partially disappearing pixels. You always want it to be crisp. And so when we're done with that, we can always just change the pencil mode back to normal and continue drawing with left click. So that basically in a nutshell is how you can go ahead and start drawing in pixel art inside of GIMP. Uh, just remember pencil mode, one pixel, 100% hardness and use mode erase to remove pixels if you need to. Try not to draw on your background layer if you want one at all. You can always hide that if you don't need it and then not include that in the export as well. And if you want to use a color palette, which is probably recommended, you can check lowspec.com and just import them into GIMP as either a PNG or a .jpl uh, GIMP palette file. So I've been Chris. That's going to be it for this video, getting set up with pixel art style inside of GIMP. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see all of you in some of my future video content.